Hi everyone, in this video we will build a ChatGPT powered chatbot with custom knowledge. I am going to build a very basic one so that you understand the concept very clearly and later on you can uh, make it more advanced and build your own chatbots totally customized. Anyway, right now as you can see I have three files over here. Number one is answer.py. The second one is learner.py and the third one is knowledge.json. So this knowledge.json file, it will be used to store our data. And the other two, as you can say from their names, this file will be used to learn a document which you upload. And this file will be used to get answer from the document using ChatGPT API. So we will start from learner.py. Let's get into this file. I have nothing right now. So let's get to chat GPT and say. Okay, write a Python function that takes txt file path and I define some parameters. Uh, I mean, I ask this chat GPT to create a chunks of uh, at least 800 characters. Let's try this piece of code. Oops, copy, paste, okay, since we have this function, now let's try it out, chunks equals, uh, let me create a file, let's say, test.txt, hello, my name is Sohel, and now if I say, test.txt okay it has provided us a chunk now let me copy paste this so many times now it is a bigger file let's test it again okay uh, Okay, since we have this function over here, it takes a txt file path and it reads that file, creates chunks of it and return a list of those chunks into this variable there. So once we have the chunks, we can generate embeddings for each chunk and to generate embedding, we have to first import openAI get embedding function this is the function we will use to generate embeddings so down here i will say for i in chunks uh, embeddings equals get embeddings i comma and here i have to specify the model name for that i will uh, type engine equals text embedding ADA O2. This is the model we will use to generate embedding for each chunk. And once we have the embeddings, I would say OBJ equals, let's create an object and say chunk text comma I embeddings embed. Okay, so we have these two information why it is giving me an error okay sorry i put extra comma anyway so we have this object and i will store this object inside this uh, knowledge.json for that let me go back to chat gpt and say write a python piece of code that read a json file and append new object and write it back <clears throat> okay i have got this piece of code let's try it out uh, let me copy this function and if i paste it here this is the function it takes a file path and the new object okay so the file uh, let's use it the file path is uh, it is over here. Let me just copy path. Oops. Let's just say knowledge.json and obj. So the second parameter is the obj 
it will append this new information inside this knowledge.json. Now let's test uh, if it will actually work. If I if I check this file right now, it is totally empty. Let me close this and if I run this piece of code. Okay, the code is successfully executed. Let's check this file. It is very strange. I think we have to make some change in the function. I will say data.append new objects once I have it. Okay. So let's test it once again. Let me remove this data from here. And if I run this piece of code again, let's see what happens. Okay. Okay, now it's working. Actually, ChatGPT said data.extend. I don't know what does it mean. But when I replace it with a append, it works. So we have these uh, few chunks. These are dummy chunks, of course. So this file, knowledge.json, it is working as a knowledge base for us. You will see it in a while. So right now I am going to do it only for txt file because it is very easy to do it. I don't have to perform so much pre-processing and so and it's also easy for me to explain and show you guys so you can understand the concept. Uh, so we have our learner.py ready. Let me now let's move to answer.py. Uh, in answer, of course, we need a very basic chatbot. I will use a code from my previous video in which I built a very basic chatbot using LangChat. Here it is. Here is that code. Uh, here we have built a very basic uh, connection with ChatGPT API. Okay, before we proceed further, let me tell you that uh, if you go back to the learner.py, we have not specified any OpenAI key because we have our OpenAI key in our environment variable. So this function automatically read our API key from there and execute. Anyway, okay, now we have this piece of code over here. We will not change anything from this. Uh, we will only say... Uh, Please answer the following question using the above in given context plus let me make it this way and here I will say context plus And here I am going to build a dummy variable. Let's say it will be empty initially. Okay, so I have made this small change. Uh, you will have access to this whole code and everything. I will mention the repository in the description below. So don't worry if you miss uh, small details. Just try to focus on the concept. So what we will do is we will provide a context in our prompt and say Please answer the following question using the above given context and inside context there will be a relevant information according to the user's question. Let's say I, if I write uh, who is so hell, then this context it will have information about me if I have uploaded anything over here. And that information will be fetched using embeddings. Okay guys, so now we have to build this context. Actually, this context will be built right after this user input. Uh, right now it is empty, but we will get our context using this knowledge.json file. For that, first of all, we need to generate embeddings of the user inputs and compare it with the embeddings that is inside this knowledge.json file, as you can see it here. So let's get back to learner.py and copy a piece of code. Where is it? Okay, here it is. We have to copy this and go back to answer.py. I will paste it here. And we also have to import this function. Okay, uh, so we will replace this i with user input. And that's it. Now we have the embeddings of whatever the user types in. And now we have to compare these embeddings with all the embeddings uh, that are present in 
knowledge.json. For that, I will have to go back to chat GPT and say, write a Python piece of code. In fact, I don't need to type it here. I already have a built-in code. Let me use that one. Let's get back to the code. I have a function. I will paste it here. And this function need JSON and cosine similarity. Let's do it. If I type cosine similarity import JSON, I have imported the necessary packages. Okay, now I can use this piece of code. It takes a user input. It takes a top K and it should also take the, let's remove this top K and say embeddings and this is what I will do and instead of top K I will just say top 3 we also have to import numpy import numpy as np okay our function is ready now let's use it I will say context equals get context user input and its embeddings which we just generate from this line of code so now we have our context with us let's remove this variable and provide this context okay it is already here now we are ready so now if we run this piece of code we should be able to chat with chat gpt and get our answers so if you are confused about this piece of codes etc i have a video about how to create a basic chat port with length chat you can easily find it or i will link it also so you can watch that too but if you have basic knowledge uh, you can just follow along before we run this piece of code we need to make some small changes the file name over here it is knowledge.json as you can see and also in knowledge.json we have chunk text instead of chunk so i will replace this with chunk text and let's see if there is anything else okay we are good to go now let's run this piece of code python answer.py okay who is Sohel oops okay because we have just provided a very dummy information my name is Sohel my name is Sohel now let's remove this and say uh, Sohel is a computer engineer now I have provided this dummy information you can type anything any information in this text file and just append it uh, maybe let me create another file and say d.py and here i will talk about my youtube channel d.py is a youtube channel it have around 300 subscribers with 11 videos they produce very nice ai content anyway uh, let me make this a uh, txt file and let me call this file as sohel.txt let me remove the information about d.py sohel is a computer engineer he is 24 or maybe 25 i don't remember <laughs> anyway oh okay so i have this information about myself and this is the another file that have some information about d.py now if i go back to learner.py file and let me clean the current knowledge base first i will just remove everything and make it empty so now we have nothing over here if i go back here and say hey uh, learn sohel.txt file if i run this okay this piece of code worked uh, here is the information in the JSON file. Now let me learn the other file that is called d.py. If I run this code again. Okay, it also learned this new file. As you can see, we have two different chunks from two different files. Now, if I go back to terminal and just say who is, uh, let me run this again, python answer.py. 
if I say who is Sohail? Okay, as you can see, Sohail is 24 year old computer engineer. Very nice. Can you also tell me about the dot pi? Oh, D.Py is a YouTube channel that produces very nice AI content. So make sure guys to hit the subscribe button. It has around 300 subscribers and has uploaded 11 videos. Very nice. So let's say, okay, thank you. Okay, so guys, that's it. Be uh, let me say one last words to the AI. Before you go to sleep, can you tell my viewers to subscribe let's see what it has to say okay he is not able to understand anyway so guys if you like this video make sure to hit the subscribe button that motivates me to to come up with more content and tutorials so thank you so much for watching guys